What's up guys, it's Jay, more than half a kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and it's no secret that this week was a highly controversial week for Borderlands 2, because the B patch has finally hit the consoles, and this is something that a lot of players were adamant against, but also I wanted to take a look at how it actually affected the game. So, number one, Flesh Stick no longer works, they patched out Flesh Stick, he only gives you 300 experience per kill, so if you're looking to grind levels really fast, so you can catch up with your friends and get down on their playthrough. Flesh Stick is not going to be where it's at. You might as well head over to the Torg DLC and do the unlimited Torg Token DLC glitch, which is uh, the Tier 3 Death Race that I put up on my channel. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can see it. But it also affected the way Torg Reload works. We all knew this was going to happen, but I didn't think it was going to be this drastic. I have gone from doing 30 million points of damage to Pyro Peach Shield all the way down to 3 million damage, and when he doesn't have his shields up, I still only do 300,000 damage with my TDR reload, which is kind of bullshit. I mean, I have 79 bullets in the clip, and I should be hitting for over 300,000, but it seems like the B-Shield not only affecting that, it seems like they also maybe kind of nerfed the damage down on the TDR reloads themselves. I can't confirm that. I haven't done the math, but uh, talking about something that's been really nerfed, is the conference call as you can see right here this is all post patch uh, B footage right here and uh, the conference call is pretty much dog shit any type of weapon that used to get a boost from the B that had a multiplier at the end of it like say it was say like times seven times five damage whatever that has now been nerfed it no longer spreads out the amp damage across every single piece of uh, multiplier it now only does it for one multiplier so if it does the 50,000 damage and you have seven multipliers on there it's gonna be evenly divided upon that instead of being 50,000 times seven like it used to be but weapons like this right here this is actually the unkempt herald against badass asaurus without a B shield and with the B shield now it is even more powerful because like I said the damage that's done by the B shield now is only done without multipliers so if you do have a weapon like the unkempt herald or the Sandhawk, they will do pretty damn good against enemies now, even with the B shield after the nerf, because it didn't take into account effects of that. So, uh, go ahead and use that. Those are going to be the two new power weapons, the Sandhawk and the uh, Unkempt Herald. The one thing that's really been bothering me about this, though, is that they buffed Terramorphus's health. They brought out Hyperius and Master G, which who were designed specifically from uh, the developers, they stated this, they designed those bosses in the DLC to cancel out the B-Shield. Well, now that the B-Shield's been nerfed, all these bosses that they dropped on us still have a huge amount of hit points for no reason at all. So if they designed these enemies around the B-Shield, and then they went one step further to nerf the B-Shield, I don't think they should be buffing any type of hit points towards any type of characters in this game until they actually sort out Master G and Hyperius and make it actually fair against people because now the B-Shield is no longer working. Now we have nothing to amp our damage up except for the Mechromancer to take out these uh, characters. And I mean, they are beatable once you uh, get the hang of them and you have a full party. But the fact of the matter is, is that it's going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to beat him legitimately now, which is uh, not really worth it because Master G doesn't drop shit. And Hyperius drops Donkey Dick too. The only boss that's actually worth farming now is Pyro Pete because he drops a decent amount of Seraph Crystals. He doesn't drop any Torn Tokens for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why they would put a boss in there that doesn't drop the new currency of the game. But he drops Seraph Crystals, which you actually get a decent amount of. He actually does drop Legendaries. I've seen multiple different uh, Legendaries being dropped from Pyro Pete. But Hyperius and Master G are pretty much worthless. Terramorphous only drops, you know, Terramorphous weapons. And those are pretty much worthless. So, uh, in my opinion, I think the B patch was, it just went a little bit too far. It's not a competitive game. And they also have elements in this game that were designed around the B shield. And now that the B shield is pretty much donkey dick, there's no reason that these characters that were designed against the B shield should have that type of buff. So, if they're not going to nerf the enemies, 
don't nerf our weapons. My name's Jay, more than Africa Hill. I got another Borderlands video coming out later. You're probably going to want to check that out. But this was just my thoughts and opinions on how the new patch has affected the game. Am I still going to play it? Yeah, I'll still play the game when the new DLCs come out. But I mean, as for farming... There's really no reason to farm anymore because they took away the farmer's tool because I don't want to sit there and fight for an hour without getting any goddamn fucking drops from an enemy that doesn't drop shit. So, uh, <laughs> my name's Jay, more than I have to kill. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later. That's it, folks. The blood of a coward has been spilled by Pandora's number one badass. The vault is going to open. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the vault.